I started out as a young choreographer in San Francisco, and I'm coming back now, and it feels, it's, I have to say, it feels good. <laughs> I was involved in a research about the choreographer um, Tatsumi Hijikata, who's the founder of Buto. And then I'd been approached about doing a piece about Dominique Bagway, who was a, not, not, neither are very well known, but Dominique Bagway is very well known in France because he was the leader of a, a movement in dance in France called the Nouvelle Danse. I took these two choreographers, um, Tatsumi Hijikata and Dominique Bagway, who aren't very well known. They both died very young lives. And I really wanted to expose that work to a larger audience, and I want to expose them to a larger audience. And so I, I wanted to see if I could make something that was incredibly experimental, but make it for a general public who don't know anything about dance or know anything about necessarily about theater. And the other thing is there's a certain kind of um, mourning that takes place in the piece, because although we, we find out about these people, they are essentially dead. And through this process of mourning for them and, and the possibilities of creativity, that out of that comes an immense feeling of joy. And that you can enjoy it, because I think sometimes people don't realize that they, when they go to a serious piece of theater or a serious piece of dance, that it can be enjoyable. Yes, you can laugh. Yes, you can like talk back. Yes, if you want to get up and dance, you can. All of those things are possible in this piece. Feel free, let go. So I, I try to open up those doors. Yeah, and I came up with this title, which was kind of a B movie title: "The Ghost of Montpellier Meets the Samurai." Well, I won't give it away so much as to say, always I'm trying to to get us to think about how playful history can be, and how often what we know of as the as the official historical story, there's always another story or another way in which things were created or, or people came together. I'm always trying to, and sometimes that has to do with social history, um, personal histories, gossip, mythology, legend. So I'm always trying to put those things in the mix, mix as well as the facts, let's say. And rarely are the facts the things I concentrate on.